Revit Structure 2011 includes a number of improvements that allow for greater freedom when working with Beam systems. There are changes to the user interface along with additional tools for both creating and modifying Beam systems. While creating a Beam system, you will notice a change in the layout of the ribbon along with an addition of a further option in the Justification drop-down menu. Although using the Beam System tool in Revit has always offered a quick method of laying out beams, the 2011 improvements now allow for accurate positioning of the first beam in the system by using the new Justify by Direction line option. The distance from the first beam to the edge of the bay is 1100. I can re-specify this distance by creating a user-defined beam system direction line. By setting the justification to direction line, that 1100 distance now is from the direction line rather than the edge of the bay. In previous releases of Revit, the only supports that could be selected to determine beam system direction were those directly associated with the system itself. Beam system direction can now be set using any other beam or wall in the project. By choosing Pick Supports from the ribbon, I can now select other beams and other walls to set the beam system direction. Although it has always been possible to unpin and then move or remove beams from a beam system, the beam system itself always remained. This may not give as much flexibility as may be required when modifying complex beam systems. The Remove Beam System option in Revit 2011 removes the beam system while leaving the actual beams themselves in place, allowing for greater freedom in cases where further modification of individual beams may be required.